Hello, I welcome you all once again to our favorite channel, Mathematics Made Easier. This is your online mathematics tutor, Comfort Amwa Kunata. Today, I'm going to take you through the steps involved in finding the inverse of sine, cosine, and tangent using the calculator. And as we learned in our previous lesson, that sign can also be written as S-I-N. Cosine can be written as C-O-S, cos. Cos tangent can also be short written as T-A-N, that is tan. So we come back to our calculator and look at some special features of the calculator. On our calculator, we have the on key, we have the shift key, we have the sine, cos, and tangent. That is the tan keys, plus other keys. But our concentration for today is going to be on these few keys. So we will pick some examples and go through the steps together. The first example we are going to pick is we are to find the sine inverse of 3 over 5. And as you know, in our previous lesson, we proved the sine inverse. So sine inverse is written as sine exponent negative 1. So in using the calculator to find this, we first of all have to own our calculator. So we press on the on key. After that, we press on the shift key. Then we press on the sign key. Good. And to display our sign inverse. Then we punch in our car our figure the figure that we are looking for in this case we are looking for three over five so we punch three divided by five and close our bracket then we press on the equal to sign to display our answer good so in solving for the sine inverse, we move first to the on key to on our calculator, then to the shift, then to the sign, then to the number we are looking for, then we press our equal to sign to display our answer. We apply the same procedure. When we are to find the inverse of the cos and the sun. So I have some try example here. Try work. The first one is find sine inverse of 2 over 3. Number 2. Solve for x in the following questions. A. We have cos x equals 3 over 5. So what do we do to make x stand alone? We have to find the cos inverse of 3 over 5. Then the b. Find x in tan x equals 3 over 5. The same approach. Then the C, find x in sine x equals 2 over 5. How simple it is to use a calculator to solve our mathematical problems. The, math the calculator is a very strong and powerful tool. So I'll encourage 
we practice more with the calculator for our objective question sake. We can use the calculator to solve about 70% of our objective questions. So let's make use of it whilst we have it. Thank you so much for going through this lesson with me. I will encourage you to do the try work and post your answers at the comment section as we always do. Please do not forget to subscribe to this channel, like our videos, and share with your friends as well. Till we meet again, please stay safe and learn hard. Bye.